2023-2024 season. Let's get it. It's a great return, play y'all tracks back We go on live and tune up to the max Real and king so spit in the fat Rapping it up with Lil Yard in the chat Baltimore Dallas, we still on the map The others agree, we don't know about that We wrote the blueprints, don't know about that And we go, we trust that we know about that In the fat bell, fat we rise So cook it up with curry, steak in the lives I hope your appetite, we're winning this hearty Grab it for the seat for the after game party We never die, we live long and prosper You ain't imagining, we home like fosters Lightning in the sky like Dr. Frankenstein Luka and Kyrie, they create a mob the rules of the game are the same They on every platform, same name As WTM, have you question on screen Keep it courteous and keep it clean And remember to share and like Welcome Will and King to the mic Wherever, whenever you hear this pod Ladies and gentlemen, this is a glow yard This is a glow yard mm. Yep, I'm definitely gonna keep the receipt For this uh, drink I got here, man Mmm Definitely keeping receipts. All right. YouTube, Glory Yard Gang, MFFLs, podcast listeners, all over the globe, guys. Welcome to a brand spanking new episode of We Talk Mass Playoff Edition, guys. Y'all already know how we do it over here, man. Listen, if you guys are new to the channel, man, if you're into Dallas Maverick content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man, and join us here as we talk about all things Mavs, man. And also, too, everybody hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that like button, man. Let's go ahead and get them likes up tonight, man. I know it wasn't a good one, but we're going we're gonna to talk about it. Uh, like I said, man, it's your boys, Relin King, man. Back with another one. We here. I know everybody want to jump off a ledge, and I'm gonna tell you now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna help you jump, uh, not jump off a ledge. You want to jump off a ledge? Have at thee. <laughs> I mean, that, that is what it is at this point, bro. Uh, but yeah, listen, man, we're gonna definitely get into it, man. Uh, like I said, a lot to take away from the game. Game one, that was lose tonight, but we're gonna get into that. King, you ready, man? I am. I am. All right, man. Listen, let's go ahead and get into it, man. But before we start the show, man, we got to start it off right. Let's go ahead and get some show some love, man, to the guys who show love to us. And that's for Fanatics. Before we continue, we want to give a special shout out to Fanatics for hooking the channel up with a personalized link for you guys and ladies to get all of your official NBA Dallas Mavericks merchandise and apparel. If you're interested in helping the channel at all, please scan the QR code on the screen or check out the link in the description. We appreciate all of the continued support and big thanks go out to Fanatics once more for hooking us up over here at We Talk Mavs. Yes, sir, guys. Y'all can go over and get your official Dallas Mavericks playoff t-shirts over at Fanatics too, guys. So right now is the perfect time to do that while Dallas is in the playoffs. Go ahead and copy a new Dallas Maverick playoff t-shirt, man. Only on Fanatics. Got the link down below in the description box. Yes, sir. All right, King, you ready to get into these takeaways, man? I am. Let's do this. All right, man, let's do it. All right, man. Let's go ahead and show the people what the be, man. Look, let's put it in the people's face. They probably don't know. Ooh, excuse me. Dallas loses with 97 to 109 to the Clippers. We are down 1-0 in the series. So Dallas shoots 38% from the field. The Clippers shoot 46. Three-pointers percentage. Dallas shoots 30%, 10 for 33. The Clippers shot 18 for 36 for 50%. Free throws, 25-33 for 75% for Dallas, 11-13 of for 84% on free throws for the Clippers. Rebounds, we got out-rebounded 45-41. to Clippers win offensive rebound battle 10-9, to and uh, they, they win the defensive battle 35-32. to All right, King. Let's get to it, man. Go ahead and let the folks at home know, man, what was on your mind, man. What did you take away from this game today, man? Uh, before the game, <clears throat> I told you we needed to win this game. Uh, you know, optics-wise, uh, just Jason Kidd, I feel like just – he doesn't like the op- optics and he doesn't do the greatest thing um, with optics mm-hmm. as far as, uh, you know, letting people see things that they need to see. And uh, he still takes his time. Uh, that's what the way Jason Kidd is. I'll say this first and foremost. Um, he likes playing, you know, from behind. It seems like Jason Kidd likes to play with fire. So oh, did he? Yeah, no diddy. Um, absolutely. But um he 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 is now today. And mm-hmm. uh Tuesday's game is now a must win. It is. Um I know we haven't played a game in Dallas yet. I know. 
Um, I know folks are going to say you don't want you don't a series doesn't start until a team loses at home. I understand all that. But uh, today, before today's game, I think the Mavericks were favored on the road uh, by three and a half. And uh, we're now the favorite. To the, we were the favorite team, I should say, in the series. And they didn't have Kawhi for game one, probably not game two as well. I thought game three would be when he probably maybe try to uh, play again. But if they don't have him the first two games, you can't go down 0-2. That's how I feel. Like You got to at least get one of these two games against the two, uh, come back with home court advantage, and then run from there. Um, I do think the Mavericks, I said the Mavs in five. I still think the Mavericks could still win this in five. Um, I didn't feel I didn't feel like the Clippers I just didn't feel like they, they really dominated us. Uh it was a couple players that really showed out today. Uh Zubat showed off. Um I mean, if you're gonna go to Zubat, Zubat gonna cook because that is what it is. Um and you had James Sutton who gives you a decent game in a series. And he gave us a game that was he was okay. And um you know, really, I didn't think with Paul George, maybe did a little, little something, but I just didn't. It wasn't nothing too spectacular. They shot, made a, made a bunch of threes today. They were half from the three point line. Like I said, Zubat uh, killed us in the interior today. Um, now going to our team, um, a few things. Our rookies look like rookies. I mean, our, not our rookies, but our centers look like rookies today. Uh, both of them, uh, Daniel Gafford, especially like I, Zubat was. I don't think they expected the physicality. Uh, that was about to happen in the playoffs. Like it got it got very physical. The referees were letting guys like just do a bunch of stuff today. I wasn't mad at the referees. I mean, it was sometimes like, man, you called that call and all that. But all in all, I thought the refs just basically just let the guys play. Um, Mavericks weren't ready for that. Uh, Clippers punched us in the, in the face, uh, basically almost knocked us out. We tried to come back uh, and get some points, but uh, that knockdown really hurt us in the second quarter. With us only getting eight points um, between Luke and Kyrie on the floor as well, like you can't get eight points in a quarter in the playoffs uh, with Luke and Doncic and Kyrie Irving. Um, we had a bad go at it, man. Um, I feel like Luca didn't start off aggressive enough um, as far as trying to get his buckets. I feel like he got to the to the rim, made a couple, made a bucket, maybe a couple free throws, and then he tried to he tried to play Zubat off the floor by like forcing a bunch of uh, step back threes right. instead of you know mm-hmm. playing a game. Like he tried to do that again, and it was like. <clears throat> We didn't need that from you, Luca. Like I felt like Luca's first half. I know he ended the game with like 31 points. Um, okay, efficiency and all that. But like I felt his first half was trash. Like um, I thought he was out of it completely. Um, it was times even when and, I, and folks were saying, well, "What about Kyrie? What about the other guys?" I thought that Kyrie was getting double teamed a bunch because Luca wasn't being aggressive. So like that's the what I always talk about on the show as far as Kyrie can't be your number one option really because you can take him out the game with a double team because of his height. Like, that's the issue. So with Luka not being aggressive, they were able to double-team Kyrie, and then you had other guys trying to do stuff that they're not – they shouldn't be doing. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, Exum driving to the rim while Luka's standing at the half-court line and then uh, driving a dish in a maxi for a brick. Like, you know what's going to happen in that situation, so you don't want that to happen. Um, I thought he had to get more aggressive. I think he will. He even said that in his post-game conference, that he get aggressive. Uh, Kyrie went off in the third quarter, I think it was, um, 20 points, didn't miss anything at all. Um, that was big for us. Like I said, guys got, got it going. The defense only allowed again under 110 points. I thought everything was fine. Um, I, like I said, I thought all the players, PJ played great defense and all. He didn't knock down all his shots, but he played incredible defense. Derek Jones Jr. didn't give you anything offensively, played good defensively. Um, like I said, Daniel Gafford was out of it. These are guys, you know, they, I, I don't think they'll be this bad next time. I really don't think so. Um, but there is – I do have beef with – I know it's like a whole major Twitter thing right now with who's at fault um, between the players and between Jason Kidd. Um, I, I give everybody fault on this. Like, I am i don't think Jason Kidd is, like, <laughs> like left out of this. and He did a perfect job. No, I did a few things. Um, Jason Kidd didn't call a challenge um, after that, that three-point shot by James Harden. And Keep every – Every possession matters in the playoffs, bro. Like, you have to challenge that play. Like, even the guy in the commentator was saying, uh, I can't believe the Mavericks didn't challenge that play. Um, Jason Kidd also, I know Daniel Gafford got in foul trouble early and I even twisted his ankle. He said he was okay and all. But um, at the first half, I think Maxi Kleber had, uh, was it 12 minutes and Tim Hardaway Jr. was at seven and they ended the game was that 20, was Maxi 27 he had? I can't see. Uh, and I think Timmy had 16. Yep. So 27 and 16 between Maxi and Tim Hardaway Jr. You can't have them playing that many minutes, bro. That's that's 
that's just the way I feel like, and that's on Jason Kidd. You cannot have Max. I don't that small ball. I know he tried to do the, the gigantic lineup today, like for the first time in like forever. Like, why did you wait to the playoffs to try to put Max at the four and, and uh, PJ at the three? But Max is just these guys do not score anymore, and their defense is not enough, and their other things are not enough. Same thing with Tim Hardaway. You don't do enough to you know validate yourself being on the floor. So when we try to give him kudos for doing helping out a little bit on defense, it's like, but. Maxi is basically you make the game like kind of five on three when Maxi's on the floor because you usually already have one guy that's just a dunker. So I, I don't understand why Maxi gets as much time. It hurts us. Tim Hardaway Jr. the same. He's not a bucket getter. It seems like that cliff has hit him as well. Just like I don't know what has happened. Like Timmy just doesn't score the ball at all anymore. And um, you can't play those guys. You need Josh Green in the game now. I think he's he's basically probably solidified his spot over Tim Hardaway Jr. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, and like I said, Maxi Cleveland has, has to fall back. So that's all on Jason Kidd, man. Um, we can make turnarounds. Jason Kidd put himself behind eight ball again, and uh, we'll see what he does, man. But that's all I got to say. You know what? Uh, Jason Kidd is now zero and four in game ones. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what that's all about. I don't know because he's trying to fill out the team or whatever it is, bro. But um, this is why Ty Lue is a better coach. Not just say he won the game. This is why Ty Lue is a better coach. Did you hear what they said Ty Lue's message was to his team? They said it about two or three times during the game. No. Nah, what did they say, bro? Come out aggressive. No, oh, absolutely. Attack first. Mm-hmm. None of that. Fit. He even said it in his quote. Don't fill out the game. Just attack them first. You got to attack them first. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, did our coach say that? I didn't hear him say our coach said that. And so it, it goes back to you – we, we had a, we had we had this talk on uh, members only, man. We had to talk on members only. This is why a lot of people were kind of having a you know were kind of a little hesitant on going full fledged. I trust Jason Kidd mode because stuff like this, man. Mm-hmm. And it's like you can't keep falling behind on these game ones and stuff. Like yeah, we won a few of the series or whatever that we were in. We did do it, but you don't want to keep falling back, falling into that, man. Like you want to take advantage of the opportunity that you have at that time, bro. Like I, I said, I said that we gonna win this in six, right? But I, but I also thought that we were gonna win the first one, lose the second one, and so maybe this will work out better for us. Win a second one, then you have the momentum in your favor going back home. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that that'll help us out. You know, win win one in in LA, win two in Dallas, maybe lose that one again in LA, or maybe win it because you think we can win it in five. Finish that one if you get up there. Yeah, you can get finish it, but if not. Close it out in Dallas and six. That's, that's that was my prediction. I told you that already. I just I got it wrong. I thought I thought the first one was gonna be the win, and then the second they probably end up losing the second one or whatever. You know, Clippers probably get desperate or whatever. They'll probably get Kawhi back, and everybody's happy or whatever. But uh, yeah, but they didn't have Kawhi today. This game was inexcusable, bro. It was inexcusable. Um, there were a lot of things that kind of stuck out to me today, man. Team looked a little flat, a little rusty coming into the series. You can tell there was a team that ain't played in like 10, 11 days. Um, just didn't play with any energy, man. Got real physical, and it, it seemed like Dallas wasn't ready for it. Our centers were, weren't were a factor today. Now, I don't know when the last time we said that. We, 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 we went into this series with the thought that our centers can dominate this game because, I mean, the Clippers ain't really just got the greatest centers in the world, but yet they made Zubas look like Arvita Sabonis is about it today, right? Uh, Gafford didn't get you any rebounds today. Live, it looked like a straight up rookie today. The only big that really showed up today to me, man, is PJ. Yeah, PJ looked like a dog out there today, man. Oh, man. Matching uh, Westbrook's energy out there, man. Like, yeah. Um, look, man, I'm, I'm gonna say it again. I'm not, I'm not panicking, King. Um, you know how it is when the playoffs happen, man. But you lose one game, everybody like trade the whole team, trade the coach, trade the the franchise, move them to Pluto, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, if you were that shook after this one game, then obviously you weren't too sure of this team going into the playoffs. Yeah. Like this one game out of the last, what, 22, 23 games that he played, including this game, has not changed my mind about this team. No. I don't think they're going to play this bad again. No. They're going to make adjustments. I hope they make adjustments. I, hope I trust. So. Yeah. Uh, when I say adjustments, I mean, kid, hopefully make adjustments. But as far as Luca and Kyrie, I don't think they're going to come out and play this bad again, bro. No. 
Like, I don't think they're going to play this bad again. Now, there were some things in this game that kind of made me mad on how they were playing. I don't like the fact – you heard me say this a million times, King, when I talk about Luka. Where is the one play uh, spot on the court I've been saying I want Luka to operate in? In the post. Well, in the post or in the paint. <clears throat> Who on that team can stop him in the post or the paint? Nobody. The thing I don't understand is I don't know why they didn't operate from that, right, to where either Luka's going to score from there or make a play from there. That would have made it easier for him. Yeah. They were doing a lot of them high sc- uh, pick and roll the top of the key. And guess what? You, you playing right into the Clippers' hands. Because now they're guarding the weak side. Those passes you were trying to get across to, to guys yep. weren't connecting. Why? Because they already know what you're going to do. Especially if you're sitting on top of the key, man. You're making it easy for the defense. Yeah. Mix it up, bro. Like, and then on top of that, you don't play a two man game with Luka and Kyrie at all. Mm. The one time they played out of the post with Luka in a Kyrie two man game, he Kyrie kissed it to Luka. Kyrie. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Like, like <laughs> I don't understand with Kid, man. Like, this is why we so be so nervous as mad fans about Jason Kidd. It's like, yo, you do you have any type of offense, any type of creativity with your offense, any type of idea how to run an offense? I saw a coach today in Ty Lue, literally every time that he called, they were efficient on their offense on every after every time that they called today. And it's just like after like the third one, bro, you're like, oh, this is gonna work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they literally were like, oh, like what was it? Like five for five on all their out of time uh, out of timeout plays. And I'm like, bro, come on, man. Like, what are we doing, man? Like, you gotta adjust, Jason Kidd. You gotta adjust. And I feel like you don't do that in the games. He waits till after the game for the next game, and then you adjust. But guess what? The other team's gonna adjust too. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like, come on, bro. You gotta do that within the game, bro. And so, like, ah. Hey, bro. I- I said, man, I still got him at six, but you, got, you definitely got to clean some things up, bro. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not jumping on no ledge off of this, bro. I'm, I'm all right. Like my, I'm not mad, but I am disappointed. Like the way they lost, I'm, I'm really, I'm really disappointed because we completely played out of character today. Like I said, we dominated with size. Luke and Kyrie have been killing cats on the on the post. I mean, in, in the perimeter. You know what I'm saying? We've been playing fast. That was another thing too. Start slowing the game down earlier. You're not being effective in the half court. Then it's like second half. Then they started picking their pace up. The Clippers aren't the greatest transition defense in the league. No. You can operate. How you get most of their points is how they got back into the game. Yeah. Those are the type of things I'm talking about when I say adjust, man. Adjust to that, bro, and utilize that. You know they're not good at that. Just utilize that. And and that's why you got to take guys like Tim Hardaway Jr. out the game. I was going to get to that. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. And that's the part that made me mad, bro, because uh, shout out to Vroom. All I heard was Master Kleber was a savior. <laughs> this is all I heard. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is what I was told. Mm-hmm. I was told this man is the savior. He is the key to us winning championships. Mm-hmm. And I'm just kind of I'm trying to figure out why we haven't won one yet with this guy still being on the team. But anyway, I digress. These guys aren't. My my thing is the rotations, right? I heard I, I watched TGK and them show today, and I knew talking about oh, it was had eight guys in rotation. We had like ten. I don't think it's about you playing 10 players, bro. Mm-hmm. It's about, like you said, King, you playing these guys certain minutes, mm-hmm. putting them in certain situations. We should not be counting on Massey Cleveland. We should not be counting on Tim Hardaway. That is over, y'all. That's done. I don't care how many times you go on Mav Twitter and those guys are a gas on the hill about these two guys. I don't care, bro. Like, you can't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm watching a game and you telling me, that these guys are the greatest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I'm looking at the game, and I'm seeing the opposite. Mm-hmm. You can't tell me the opposite of what I'm looking at. They're done. We need to find a way, Nico, to find a way to get these guys off the team and get people in those positions, bro, that can help us when we need the help. Yep. I'm looking at Maxi push the ball to the rim. No arc, no form, no nothing. Mm-hmm. It's to the point the defense is leaving it wide open. Wide open. Tim Wall is supposed to be this, this sharpshooter. That's all I heard from people. First option. Hmm. Second option. Third option. Whatever the heck it is, right? I, I, that's all I'm hearing from people. And you, I'm, like I said again, <laughs> it's what I'm being told. But I'm seeing different, though. Like, I don't understand this, bro. Like, I don't know what kids' obsession with these two are. And it's to the fact, to the point, like you said, King, I'd rather take a chance on Josh Green. Do I trust Josh Green? No. But from what I've seen today, Josh Green showed more of an impact today in the limited minutes that he had than Tim showed all game. 
Like, man, we trying to win a championship, man. It's not about people, people's feelings or who like who. Like, none of that, bro. We trying to win a championship. You got to put all that stuff aside. You didn't watch these dudes all season long. You know what they are. You playing them extra men is not going to all of a sudden be like, you know what? Now they're going to click. <laughs> if that's the case, they would click three or four months ago. So, I mean, I don't, I don't get it, man. Um, he ain't got to do something, man. He got to do something. I mean, tighten up with the rotation, limit those guys' opportunities and minutes or whatever, bro. Do something, man. You got to have Gaffer in them. There's no way in the world y'all should let Dubai come in and do the way, do y'all the way he did, y'all, man. Yeah. We're supposed to be the big team. We're supposed to be the more athletic team. Utilize that. Get into the open court. Like you said, King, they held us under 110 points. So obviously won the defense. Like, we got to do better. And this is why also, too, King, I went back to the fact that I told you, I said this during regular season. It's the three-point shooting. You know the Clippers want you to shoot threes. You know they want you to shoot threes. And you got to capitalize on that when you get them. Massey Cleaver pushing the ball over to the rim. Derrick Jones Jr., you got a wide open three, and you decide to put it on the floor and go into the defense. Like, guys, you got to shoot those, and you have to hit those when, they, when they're when they there. Westbrook was hitting them today. Westbrook. Like. Bro, so, I don't know. I don't. You had three-point shots and all. So, there's a couple of things with that. Early in the game, like I said, Luca wasn't getting to the paint, so nobody else was getting it to, to form to. Oh wait, breathe. before you before you say that, let me get to that too. Yes, sir. Because I, I, I really, you know how I feel about Luca and the step back threes. When you're hitting them, that's cool and everything, but I can do without the step back threes. He got to you be utilized a little bit more in the paint, man. He got to. He got to man get down there and attack them in the paint. We scored what eight points in the first half in the paint? No, no, it was eight points. No, what was it? I forgot what the number was. Something like that, I thought. Yes, yeah, it was something low, right? Like, look, we gotta do, gotta, you gotta just cut back on the threes, especially if you're going four for 12 or whatever it was, bro. You gotta cut back on the threes and start utilizing the paint Eat more, bro. Get into the paint. Ain't nobody scared of Zubats. And that's another thing I was gonna say too about the defense. You saw what the Clippers were doing, they were putting Luca in them and pick and roll, trying to to play Luca off the court, right? Like, mm-hmm. trying to make him play defense, right? Tire him out on the offensive end by making him play defense. Why we didn't do that, King? Who was the hottest guy on the court today? James Harden. Did we put him in uh, in pick and rolls and play him off the, in, uh, play? We didn't put him in, de- in defense? Oh, we didn't? Okay, got you. Got you. Okay. I'm just asking because I'm sitting there thinking to myself, if Ty Luke can understand that, to try to get our best guy out, you see uh, James Harden is probably one of the weakest, not probably, sorry, one of the weakest defenders in the league. Why aren't we not attacking this guy to put it, get him in foul trouble or something? Yeah. Why are you not attacking Paul George to get him in foul trouble? Why are you not attacking the basket to get Zubac in, in trouble? All they kept doing was switching on Zubac. He's doing step back threes. Yeah. Attack the basket. Find ways to attack the basket. And they're not doing that, bro. Put Lively and put put uh, Gafford in the two-man game, bro, and lob it up over him, bro, to do something to get these guys out of whack. But they're not doing that. They're playing right into their hands like, oh, all they're going to do is with the Zubat. They're going to do a step back three. Get yep. ready. Stay home on your guys. And when he wasn't cooking them, Zubat wasn't able to be put off the floor because he didn't exactly. have power or anything. So he dominated. But uh, Luca had to stop doing that. Like I said, it got the flow of the offense kind of ugly because it just became that over and over again. Um, I do feel like as well, the centers weren't, weren't, uh, weren't setting good screens, bro. Like they were the Clippers were able to get over every screen when Luca, like they were on Luca up close and all. Like Terrence Mann looked like he was one of the greatest defenders in the world at the beginning of the game and all. And I'm like, man, what are you guys doing? Like, hit them, hit them with a screen. Like our work, our centers really looked like they were lost today when they were playing. So I was like, because at the beginning of the game, Luca got a good pick and roll. He got to the rim and they were playing the love, like they were playing the centers heavy. And he just went for an easy layup. It was like, oh, that's just easy. He can get that all day. Then he started going to that step back three. And I'm like, if they just set good screens and go, like, we still bigger than them. We just go away from our game plan. That's been the whole time that I've always been scared about with Jason Kidd. Like, he'll see something and he'll say, well, forgot what we could do before. Let's, let's try this. Try. One. I want we. He's been waiting for that Maxi Cleave at the five position. Like, please, let's be able to do it. Like, you know what? Time to do it now. It's going to work now. It's like. I just wish he wouldn't do that, bro. But Luca got didn't get in the flow of the offense at the beginning of the game. Guys couldn't get shots. Like I saw guys were doing stuff they weren't supposed to be doing. Um, and then 
that break stuff, like you said, this is why Josh Green can play. Josh Green is, is good at running the break with Kyrie and all that. When Tim Hardaway Jr. got that ball on the break and ran, and it was Maxi Kleba, I think that was on the other side of James Harden. I'm like, damn, you can get the ball up. But do I really want Maxi Kleba having the ball on the break? That's what I'm saying. Like, we, if you're saying the Clippers are weak against the break, well, how are you playing these guys? Most met a bunch of minutes, I should say, that can't run the break. Timmy, like, when he got the ball lost, you knew he was going to lose the ball. Then it was another play. I think it was Kyrie. They got doubled, and Timmy was wide open underneath the rim. And then he went yep. up and just blew the layup. And I'm yep. like, yo. It was a bunny. They, they blew a lot of bunnies yeah, today. That's what I'm saying. Like, they were blowing a bunch of bunnies' paws at the rim. So they could have got more points. It was ugly, bro. It was just, it was it was an ugly game. Like we just played ugly offense. That was one of the ugliest offensive games I've seen. I know people saying Luca and them got their sixty something points, and the rest of the team only got thirty or whatever like that. Like I didn't even think. I think that's Do that's you, false. That's BS. You feel, but you feel like Luca and Kyrie left me to the bone. Yes, I feel like Luca and Kyrie didn't have a good game. So I don't feel like they had both of them had over 30 and he left meat on the bone. Yes, I, I feel like they had bad. I'm telling you, I was I thought Luca was trash. That first half, bro. Was think trash. about that, King, what you just did. <laughs> they both scored over 60, bro, to to bond, yeah. combined, and they still left meat on the bone. Kyrie couldn't get off in the first quarter because he was getting doubled. Like I said, second quarter, they, neither one of them did anything. And then third quarter, Kyrie went off, and then Luca kind of joined them, but Luca still didn't really dominate, like as far as efficiency and all. So, yeah, I mean, come on, man, it's Luca Doncic versus the Clippers. That's why I'm saying, like, the team goes behind their leader. Like when you see the Clippers on the on the, the card, you're thinking, okay, Luca's about to cook them. And when Luca started mm-hmm. off the way he started off, kind of passive, he even said in the post game, like, I got to be more aggressive. I can't be passive. For those step back threes, he got into a rhythm. He thought he can play Zubat off the floor. I thought, I thought Lucas was gonna come out here and be stupid today, man. I yeah. thought he would because, like you said, it's the Clippers. Like it's like it's like a bull seeing red. He's, like he started off. Ugly, check this bro. out. Go ahead. So Grant Asif uh, tweeted this. He said the Mavs only had eight points in the paint for a entire half. Mm-hmm. Then the team shot nine for forty on field goals and two for eighteen from three. Yep. Luca Donish Luca shot uh, four for thirteen from the field, one for seven on three. Kyrie shot one for six and zero from three, uh, zero for three from three. Free throws uh, accounted for one of three of their points. Oh, uh, one third, sorry, one third of their points. Just a brutal half of offense. Yep, it was trash. It was trash. I really, like I said, the Clippers, the Clippers are happy as hell. They got this when they weren't supposed to get. It. You feel me? Like the Mavericks held them to 109, bro. Like we, we talk about this all the time. We talk about the game. Like the Mavericks can score 110 points. That's not difficult for the Mavericks to do. They just didn't do it today. So it gives them an extra day of Kawhi. Yeah. This I was going to say, you know, this remind me of us in Utah. In Utah. The yep. reverse way. Mm-hmm. But the, the only thing is, I think Kawhi is really hurt. I don't, I think Luca, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Luca was hurt. I think Kawhi is injured. Injured, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if Kawhi, like, that's why I wanted the series to be over. Don't, don't play with him. Like, so that Kawhi gets a chance to play in like a game six, game seven. And he's probably not going to be 100%, but it's still the effect of him being on the court and like showing up with his guys and all. Like, I just, I want to hurry and, and beat him if you're going to beat him. Like, don't, don't let it play around. And, and if we should, like, you feel me? Like, I feel like if they don't have Kawhi in it, we should beat them quickly. Like, it shouldn't be a long series. And if we, if we got to go seven without Kawhi and then they get Kawhi, I don't, the Mavericks aren't as good as we thought they were. That's how I feel. Like, you, so get the job done, man. Stop playing. I thought Ty Lee would get him one. Ty Lee punched him. They, they even said, I think, that uh, they knew two days ago that Kawhi wasn't playing. Bro, I've been saying that. So they That's what I'm saying. They were ready for that. They they threw a haymaker at us. They threw something that we weren't expecting. And like I said, they, they, they snuck up on us. So like I said, game two really should be a statement game. Like, let's go. Let's go. I want to prove that that was a, that was a fluke, that type of game, because – yeah, I about to say when the last time we played that bad. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I wanna, we need to beat them by at least ten. You feel me? Like that's the way I want to play the next game. So hopefully it's it's no contest. Hopefully we have one of those games we just own and we just destroy them because you still can take their heart away. Right. But yeah, today, I said win, win game two, and you coming back to the house. Like I feel confident at home. Get the crowd behind you. Bring the energy. I really, don't think Kawhi, I really don't think Kawhi want to play. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, you seen that knee? Yeah, and like I said, he's 
They don't play with Kawhi's health, bro. And if he's missing playoff games, I always tell you this. If some of them missing playoff games, they hurt. Yeah. That is true. We'll see. James Harden had a game, bro. You feel me? He give you one. Hey, he had one in Philly, too, whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like this yeah, that's why I'm not worried about it. But are you worried if we lose a game, too? No. It's going to be a little longer. I don't got. I wish I had the same confidence as y'all, man. If I, we lose game two, I'm, I'm, I'm worried. I'm, I'm really worried. I guess it depends on how we lose. No, I'm, I'm really worried. I don't think, bro. They, I don't think the Clippers are as good as us when they're fully healthy. And if they don't have Kawhi, they should not. Like, I watched the way that Maverick team play. If the Mavericks now lose two, no, nah, I'm, I'm worried. If they lose both of these games, they should, they should win one of um, these. I'll make sure I'm getting this right. You are the optimistic. I, Optimistic one, bro. You tell me you worried? No, 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 no. So I'm not worried yet because we haven't. No, I'm talking about. I'm talking about. I mean, when you lose, you you gonna you be win? Oh, hopefully not. I, 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 yes, I'm going to be worried, bro, because that means we got to be perfect on, at home. I know you're saying we we're not going to lose at home and all that, but you know we. So that means we have you putting a half two beside Jason Kidd to win two games at home. He has to win two in a row. Hmm, don't trust Jason Kidd, huh? Why would I? <laughs> Oh man, that's what I'm saying. Like, if we lose the second game, I'm really disappointed, bro. Like, I really we shouldn't have lost this game, so we should not lose the game. Game two, if we lose game two, I'm worried, right? This ain't Phoenix, you feel me? Like, they can only the, the Clippers can get better, not worse. Mm. Well, we're gonna see, man. We're gonna see. I think they're gonna win game two, though. That's why I'm not, I guess, that's why I'm not worried about it. I think we're going to win as well. As I'm saying, that's why I'm like, I think we're going to win it again. If we lose this one, then something up. Kid better, kid better had his team ready, man. If kid, I already know. Oh, if kid, kid got to win this series, bro. If, if we lose this series, I'm mad. I still, I'm, I'm mad. That's why I feel I'm like I, I'm mad. You said, you said, uh, you said contract extension. No, nope, no contract extension, bro. If he loses this series. Oh, you said, oh, you said brand spanking new country. What you said, okay, I got you. You know, boy, you know, you know how the conversation gonna be if we lose the series, though. Y'all talk about hate, yeah, it ain't gonna be with it, ain't gonna be about kid. I tell you that, yeah, it ain't gonna be about Jason Kidd. That's what I'm saying. Y'all talk about hate, hmm. boys. Hey, if, if we lose the series, boy, they better run kid out the city, man. Yeah, but them people better do him like we in New York or something. Man. The media is going to. Destroy Luka Doncic. <sighs> yep, they're going to destroy him. So I, that's what I'm saying, man. Kid got a lot of weight on his shoulders, bro. He can't be playing around, man. No, Kid don't got a lot of weight on his shoulders. Luka got a lot of weight on his shoulders. Luka has a lot of weight on his shoulders, but Kid has like control of that weight. I the only say. the only people who gonna put pressure on Kid is the is the fans. That's it. It's not gonna be the media. It ain't gonna be the national media. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not gonna put it on the, the fans outside of Dallas. They're not gonna be the ones putting putting pressure on Kid. He can go out here and and, and play Master Cleaver for 48 minutes, bro, with uh, A.J. Lawson and Brandon Williams at the two and the one, and they'll still kill Luka for it. So, so yeah, that's why I say, like, yeah, he, he got pressure from the fans. He ain't got pressure from nobody else. Gafford played 14 minutes. Lively played 19. DJJ played 14. Mm-hmm. Maxie played 27. Tim Hardaway Jr. played, what, 16? Mm-hmm. How? How does that make sense, bro? It makes sense to me. And I understand. And Listen, man. I'm going to tell you. I, oh, listen, bro. This is what I was told, okay? I was told that Maxi is the greatest player in MAP history. He is our franchise savior, bro. So he deserves those 27 minutes. So what are you talking about? And I, I I understand that these guys make mistakes. Like, if you thought Maxi Kleber played, played a perfect game? Yeah. Okay, that's what that's you know that's how they present it when they present the other guys being bad. So they said like Daniel Gafford was trash today, mm-hmm. and then I'm like, and you're like, well, see, so you should have played Maxi. You should probably start Maxi. I'm like, so Maxi had a perfect game today. Yeah, he's perfect. Mm-hmm. He's perfect to me. Only something okay. Did, did you see Maxi stop Zubat one time? Yeah, he was he, he locked Zubat down for what twenty points and uh, fifteen rebounds, right? I could have sworn I saw Zubai score a few of those over his head as well, Paz. Well, no, no, no. Maxi moved out the way and put somebody else in his place and scored oh, on him. That's what it was. So it didn't count on Maxi, bro. Okay. 
Bro, man, <laughs> these people, man, they wild. I'm just telling. I'm just telling you what I was told, King. This is what I was told. That Maxi is right below Jesus in the pecking order, right? Your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and then Maxi. This is what I was told. He is the key to life itself. This is what I was told. So, I mean, <laughs> shout out to Richard. So, All right, man. <laughs> uh, you want to do the game ball, man? I guess. All right, man. Let's, <laughs> this ought to be interesting. Who you giving the game? <laughs> Ball to the night. <laughs> um, I don't want to say this is difficult. This wasn't difficult for me. To tell you the truth. Um, both house, like I told you, superstar play. I was saying in playback. Shout out to them. We'll talk about them later. But um, superstar play. I feel like we we're missing that like big time in the first half, and uh, that really screwed us over. So I'm not gonna give it to Luca or Kyrie. Um, this guy, he only shot 40 percent from the field. Um, and I know people, he can shoot better and all that. Yeah, he can do that. But I'm not going to lie to you. The first half, I felt like this guy was the best player on the floor, just in general, for our team. And um, he Massive played hockey defensively. Absolutely. How are you going to give it to some people with my, my pick? It, bro, you got chip. Yeah. But um, he, he did his thing defensively um, all over the place when he was on James Harden. He was stopping him when he was on Paul George. He was stopping him uh, just all over, just roaming. Um, even, like you said, matching Russell Westbrook energy. Russell tried to talk some stuff, and right behind him, PJ, like, let's do this. So game ball going up. Mr. PJ Washington, man. He was a dog out there for us today. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Um he PJ was ready, it looked like. Um yeah. he came with that energy, man. Like you said, just out he's like he somebody to, told him what the playoffs was about, man. And he came with the mentality, bro. Like I'm I'm here, like Westbrook do all that talking and stuff, man. He's like, nah, uh uh-uh. like mm-hmm. I'm 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 still here. I ain't going nowhere, man. So shout out to PJ Washington, man. Um hmm. Yeah, it's just hard when King Pauls. Uh, <laughs> mm, I guess I give it to PJ too, man, for the same reason. <laughs> I was gonna see if he's gonna give it to somebody else. But you know, yeah, I, I'm looking down the line. I'm like, I don't know who to give it to. And if it, you know, we always try to get like different people so we can yeah. spread it out or whatever. But I, yeah, like you said, I, I two superstars, man. Yeah, they both ended with like over sixty points, but. That second quarter, man, that was inexcusable for them, man. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I think they will back, bounce back, man. I think I'm willing to put your house on. They'll bounce back. I think we'll be fine. You know how it is, man. Seven game series, man. They'll be fine. Because right. if Dallas win the next game, then we talking about trying to map parades out, man. You know how it is. Your team right. lose one game, trade the whole squad, get rid of the coach, move the team. I'm not betting my house on it, though, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Keep your house open so I can bet it, bro. That's right. how not, we do it over here. Not, not with Jason Kidd, man. <laughs> Real talk, man. I just I, no, it's no, I, no. It's I agree, been I agree. Issue, bro. It's always been. I'm sorry. Let me, let me, let me reiterate. I'm sorry. Yeah. I trust Luke and Kyrie. Yeah, I that's who I trust. Kyrie, but that's yes. what I'm like Jason Kidd. When it comes down to it, but they're not the ones who change the rotations. I understand. I get it. I get I, it. I hope. I hope Jason Kidd adjusts. I hope we get 2020 and Jason Kidd adjusts. I hope so. But like, we Ty gonna Lee, find out. Tyloo probably gonna adjust too. Yeah, no, not not probably. He's gonna adjust. That's what I'm saying. So, <sighs> I need Luca to bully Terrence Mann and Russell Westbrook too. Bro, I already told you. I don't know why we didn't attack any of those guys. I don't know why we didn't attack any of them, bro. You said, like, step you said how they were doing. I got. Excuse me. Saw we doing our guys. Why you didn't attack them? Like you said, you said step back three on Zubat. Yeah, they got stopped there, bro. That was that's, that's, yeah. That Zubat was, was killing us because we was getting no points on that side, and he would come down and score on the other side. Yep. I ain't never seen Zubats out here looking like Kareem Abdul Jabbar in, in the post, man. And, and you crazy. know what? And you know what? If they play the game the same way they played again, I, I still want them to give it to Zubat. Like, let them, let, let's see if Zubat can get, keep getting 20 and whatever. So, in other words, if Zubat beat us, then so be it. Yeah, if Zubat, Zubat wins this series, then we lost. And Jason Kidd, I can't believe you let Zubat win this series. But I do not trust Zubat to cook like that, bro. And he started getting cold in the second half as far as missing shots and all. Like, he not. That's not his game. Come on, man. But hey, that was smart on the Ty Lue's part, though. Yeah, I think, and I think, I think Gafford gonna get into him as long as they don't call like Ticky Tech Gafford's. I mean, fouls next game. I think Gafford's gonna. You know what, man? To be honest with you, I wasn't too mad at the referee today. No, that's what I'm saying. I wasn't mad at him. That's what I'm I wasn't saying. mad at him today. That's pretty good. Like, hey, you gonna let him play? Let him play. You know yeah. what I'm saying? 
I hope until yeah. like I said Tuesday though. I hope they don't like change it up. Like let yeah, they, they start ready every to little tick tick. Yeah, you set a, you set a standard. Let Gafford now play against them because they were doing some dirty stuff, bro. Like it was one play where I think Paul Jewish checked uh, Gafford running down and then he like almost oh yeah, leg, whatever, he, his like leg that. got bent up under him or whatever. Yeah, man. See the Mavericks got a you got a cheap shot. Him. I don't mean it in like a dirty way, but you got to catch him with little. If that's what they're doing, then let them feel you, Paul. You feel me, like. I got more James Harden in the side when he's just running or something like that. Like, you got to make it old school. That's the hey. way the playoffs will be played. That's what PJ was doing. He said he was getting over them screens. Yeah. He's like, nah. He was one of the screens. Over them screens uh, and, and then he was kind of bumping them at the same time. He, he was getting over them screens. Like, bro. With coffee had pushed PJ and, and he went right into James Harden. And James Harden yep. went down. And I was like, office. Bro, PJ be out there just standing his ground. Man. He was going. I was watching one time. He was following one guy. He was just going under every screen, bro. Like, under. Yep. I, I mean, was it? Yeah, it's under. I'm thinking over. So he was going under every screen. Yeah, yeah, he's going under. He's going, under. Yeah, he's going under all of them. Like, and I'm like, bro, he, I'm like, this dude, PJ is getting through everything. They just, he, they can't do nothing. This dude is amazing, bro. Like, PJ Washington is amazing. Actually, like I said, I wish I, I, I want them. I want, I want DJJ to kind of uh, get some of that energy like PJ got, man, and just really, you know, get up in the heart, man. Pause. You know what I'm saying? So. DJ he can do that, man. Punk, though, man. Jeez, uh, Derek Lively missed it right in his hand. They were just missing so many bunnies, man. So it's just an ugly game, man. It was just ugly. That's why I said I think they'll be fine. I think yeah. once kind of get that one game out your out your system, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because we we was making that little comeback. You know what I'm saying? There's the end. Paul Jones hit that little three to make it twelve because we had it down to nine. Yeah. Excuse me. And then, yeah. All right, man. You ready to get to the? To the the glow yard, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get the glow yard, man. Before we do that, man, let's give a shout out to our partners over at Court Kings. We are excited to announce our new partnership with our friends over at Court Kings, and we appreciate them blessing us with their new Dallas Mavericks collection. This will not only include Dallas Mavericks based shirts, but we talk Mavs themed shirts as well. Be sure to check out our exclusive link on the screen or in the description to help the channel and rep the best Dallas Mavericks post game show in the world. Much love to the entire crew over at Court Kings again for believing in us and taking a chance on the channel. Salute. Yes, sir. Court Kings in the building. Yeah. Showing off. Showing off. Listen, man. Let's get to it, King. Glow your heart. Yes, sir, guys. Listen, it's y'all's time of the show. Questions and comments. If you guys have any questions or any comments, guys, we ask that you hit us with the WTM in front of your question or your comment, guys. We ask you to be respectful in the comment section. And also, guys, we take the super chats. If any super chats come in first, we will address those first. King, of course, we do have one so far. Let's get to it. Ramble Gamble with the $2 dough. No, he's a Glow Yard member. He says, Trash Can Juice, Mini Kleba, Jason Mid. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, I made some, uh, I put some new emojis on there. I forgot to tell you. Oh, okay, like, okay. Some nice King, emojis. Uh, King, go ahead and let the folks know about the emojis you added, man. Uh, I don't got to tell them. They can, they can use them, the uh, members and all that. They'll see them. And you oh, okay. Them. Okay, so. okay. I think as much as they'll like, they'll be able to use them for certain situations. They want to, uh, some things they want to talk about. Okay, y'all. Y'all y'all heard it here, man. King set y'all up with some new emojis, members of the channel, man. So y'all go ahead and check them out. Let us know what y'all think. All right, King's on you. I'm sorry. Uh, Nancy's a glow y'all member. What up, Nancy? She says, uh, hey, fellas. Uh, tough laws. Uh, definitely come you. up. Oh, you see the, the emojis? Well, I don't have to see it. Yeah, but you Nobody see the see words. You know, on there. Yeah. Uh, see, hey, fellas, uh, tough loss. Definitely didn't come out as aggressive as I would have liked to see. But I think the most frustrating part of it all uh, was Jason Kidd not having his team prepared for this game. Uh, mm -hmm. He also says, with all the young players on this team, and I really wish he would stop playing with the rotations. I thought the superstars would be playing more minutes now. Mm -hmm. mm. And uh, shout out to Nancy, man. She was, she was definitely a star of. Uh, <laughs> Of the show, man, the members only show, man, on Friday, man. Shout out to, to Nancy. I saw uh, on Midnight Madness too. She's showing off. Yeah, I see you, Nancy, showing up. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see you, now, King. Oh, okay. Uh, Frank 
His uh, <laughs> glow yard memory says embarrassing, a uh, tough loss, but there's still more games to be played. Some of the players were bad and kid was out coach. Uh, those are my reasons for today's loss. Yeah, I thought there'd be a nice couple of emojis. I saw we had a couple more slots. Uh, what up, Matt? He says, uh, this loss is just flat out embarrassing. Jason Kidd did not have our team prepared to win this game. Uh, we need to bounce back game two with full force. Uh, Luke and Kyrie need to lock the FN. Uh, play harder. Yes. You said uh, full force, no uh, house party? Full force. Hype. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> Ain't my type of hype. Uh, hold my, hold my latte. He's the glow. He's the glow yard member. They don't know about that. They too young. Uh, hold my latte. He's a glow yard member. He says, uh, "Damn, we didn't cap. We didn't capitalize this game." Yeah, latte man. Mm -hmm. He also says, uh, "All I can say is game two better adjusted. Uh, eight points in the second quarter. That's crazy." Yeah. That was the, that was the key second quarter, bro. Yep. Uh, Matt says Gafford cannot have zero rebounds and Lively only had four. Derek Jones Jr. had zero points. Are you serious? We got no help from the role players today. I don't know what to say. Just went Tuesday 100. Facts on everything you said. Uh, Latte said Gafford in post interview said he knew he wasn't good. Hope he bounced back. Yeah, I think Gafford be fine. I think they all be fine, man. That's why I'm not worried about it. I think they will. It they got punched in their mouth in a new atmosphere. It's luck luckily it's a series. Yep. Uh Matt says not gonna lie. Um going to lie, Rowan King. Uh we were just flat out soft today. Zero energy defense was lazy and no ball movement. We just didn't look like a championship team today. We need to fix it fast. Yeah. I think a lot of that had to do too. I mean, like I said, we've been out for I'm off for a long time. We was out for a long, 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 long time. Yeah. Uh Matt said and on the road too. So yep. Matt says this did not look like the Dallas Mavericks today. Facts. <laughs> They did defensively, though. We still look good defensively. That's wild. Uh, Johnny B's a glow yard member. He says getting destroyed by the Clippers without Kawhi is inexcusable. Uh, I told this was going to be a longer series than y'all anticipated. We're not playing scrubs. They got four Hall of Fame players. They got three of them now, don't they? I said six, Johnny. Five. Uh, Vaughn says when everyone hypes up the Mavs, the team always does this. Yeah, Vaughn. But they'll be fine. That's Everybody going to jump off the train now, so you know what that means. Johnny B said Mavs lose game two. We might be going home. I feel you, Johnny B, on that one. Uh, Nancy says, I thought the lineups and the rotations got get shortened during the playoffs. Why does JK always get so cute with the lineups? Maxie came back in the game with 8-36 in the fourth after getting it uh, to 15. Yeah, I don't know why. He, he just won't. He has to decide to let those guys go, bro. You got to do it now. Hmm. I ain't gonna lie to you. Remember we talked about that. We said I, I didn't think Tim Hall was gonna make the the playoff rotation. I thought you know they're gonna cut it down to about eight, maybe nine. Bro. And yeah, I thought I thought that whole sick thing was a was an excuse to not play him. That whole he was questionable because of illness or something like that. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. okay, that was I'm trying to find a way not to play him. I I like this. And then oh, Timmy's there. Uh, Matt said, I hate losing with the team we have right now. This is probably the most complete team Luka has played with, and they lose game one without their best player. Maybe Kid gets 50% of the blame. Yeah, that's why I say it's on everybody. Uh, I, I, everybody that was out there playing today, they were just not ready. Uh, Gina Kim, she's a glow yard member. She says, hey, fellas, what up? Uh, rough game. Like Kai said, they weren't prepared at all. I could say this loss was on coaching. Our superstars are role players, but there's one main reason why we lost. Eight. Yep. Damn, Kyrie did Kyrie said we weren't prepared. Bro, he said that in the postgame said we weren't prepared for what they were given. And I, I think nothing. Uh That's Gina, not a good look, bro. Not a good look at all. Uh Gina Kim says also says game ball to Kyle, honestly. That clip where he was on the bench talking to them showed great leadership. I saw more from him than kid, and he was trying to keep us in the game near the Luca, though. Yeah, Kai Kai went on this little run saying, I'm like tired of this right now. I was like, all right, Kyle, he might get us back in the game, man. He going off. I thought he was. Bro, he was going off. I'm like, all right, Kyle, everything he's shooting that mid range and it was just on. Uh, Nancy also says Maxi is flat out afraid to shoot the ball. Every time Luca or anyone else passed the ball, he'd pass it right back. And then if he did have to shoot, he wasn't prepared to miss. Yeah, Maxi only shoots the ball on like the end of shot clock, like times and all when he has to shoot the ball. You call that? You call that shooting? I mean, it's pushing. 
Bro, you know, you would play 25. Well, we played 25 period. I played 21. 21 or 50. We call it. Damn, y'all play 50s? We play by fives. Fives in the. Uh, oh, you know what? I was in. I, I, I did hear that before, bro. I heard like y'all play like, well, no, I heard like years ago, man, when I went to Washington, D.C. and stuff like that, yeah, y'all play like 30. Yeah, Somebody played, said y'all play 30 or whatever. Yeah, you play the fives, though. Mm. And, and they, uh, and you know how you be trying to, like, when you play 25 and you got 23 and you finish shoot another free throw, you don't want to hit that free throw because you don't want to uh-huh. try to, you want to get that bucket instead of hitting that free throw. So you throwing it to the rim so it can bounce back to you. Max. That's how Max like he's shooting, yeah. Yep. Or like you at the end of the game, you need a bucket, and the, and the coach tell you just throw it up to the rim and let it bounce back. Yep, that's what it looked like. Uh, Maxie doing when he shoot the ball, man. Maxie offense is dicky. I like. I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I was told different, bro. I was told a whole lot different. Kansas. I feel like the White might be a better offensive player than Maxie right now. That's like, why well, I rather I rather see the White in it right now. That's how I'm, that's how I kind of feel, bro. I'm like, man, I don't know what this fascination is with Maxie. Like y'all love him, but I'd rather see the White right now. I'm just telling you know, what I was man, told, like, bro. And, 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 and it's funny I was told that, but we ain't seen nobody in a while. Uh, hmm. Matt said it's kind of hard for me to blame the kid and the coaching staff when all the role players score a total of 33 points the whole game. Luke and Kyle combined 64 points together, which is bad for them. I mean, when your role players scoring 33 points and your two main role players that off the bench that got a bunch of minutes with Timmy and uh and Maxi, I mean, who's who did that? That's all I'm saying, Matt. I wouldn't say that was bad for them to combine for 64. We've seen them winning a bunch of games here over the stretch of 22 or 23 games or whatever it was. Them scoring points like that, and we win. It's just like what you said. The the other guy didn't show up. You got to Some people can't be our other guys anymore. That's how I feel. Somebody got to step up. Yeah. Uh, Gina Kim says it's game one, so I'm not overreacting yet. Got to see game two before I give up. Uh, I still think it's Mavs in five. Yeah, Gina Kim. Uh, she also said, "Kid is 0-4 in Game One, so maybe he'll just—he's uh, just waiting to adjust to other teams instead of throwing the first punch." I get Lou is a better coach, but he got two of the best players in the series. Yeah, that's why I understand that. Like I said, Kid is now 0 for four in Game Ones. Yeah, he got to stop doing that. I he got to stop doing that, man. He got to stop playing from behind. It's the same thing we just talked about, Shout to Nancy and uh, and Fame about just playing from behind and just. Hurting Luca in general because you like playing like you can't do that. Throw the first and then, and then you tell me Kyrie was in the post game talking about they weren't prepared. It's like wait a minute, y'all was out for for you was out for uh, two months. Like what are we doing? And Luca and Kyrie missed like two weeks basically. Yeah. So I'm just like I don't know. It's crazy to me, man. Great job, Jason Kidd. Uh, Matt says if we go if we are going to split on the road, I'd rather lose game one than game two. I'd rather have the momentum going into our place. I hope the That's team doesn't make mistakes and takes full advantage next year. I mean, if we yeah. win the next one, if we win it convincingly, then it don't even matter about game one. Like I said, you, it's optics again. Jason Kidd has to. He got to win this game. Like I told you, bro. I'm, this is the biggest game of Jason Kidd's career so far, in my opinion, man. This really is. Like, we've never been favored before. Ever. Mm-hmm. Ever. We're now in a series that we're favored in. He has to win game two, man. You can't make it. I don't want to hear nobody going to press conference again and say they, we weren't prepared. Nah, hell no. Uh, TGK TV is a Glow Yard member. He's also the host of the unofficial official Mavs pregame show. Uh, he says, I can't believe we stunk up the joint. I hope this feels a fire and the Mavs like never seen before. That's all. I'm just so confused by the performance. I feel you, TGK. I think we are, Lord TGK. Yeah, but it. it Everything could change with a win on Tuesday. Uh, that quick. Uh, Genus also says, I like what I saw on one play where <laughs> they kept moving the ball and it led to a PJ3. That's how we get everyone involved and more of the two man game with Luca. Why do we go away from what works? I don't know. Bro, they just don't run pick and rolls for each other at times. And I'm like, why aren't Luca and Kyrie on the same side of the floor as Jason Kidd? Like, that way, if they're doubling one of them, the other one is the one that's the beneficiary of them being doubled. Like, I don't know. Like, that, like that player was saying when Luke was in the post. Yeah. They got to Kyrie for open three. Kyrie, that works. They started running that, and then I think they, they ran the next play where they got the rebound, and Luke threw it up to Kyrie or whatever like that, and he went and scored. Like, what are you doing? Play with – you have your two guys. I'm play off of each other. Make the game easier. 
Uh, Matt said, would you take a better coach in the playoffs or two of the best players in the series on your team? I'm just confused because we have so much talent on this team and screw it. Uh, screw it up. Whose fault? I don't I mean, I, I'd rather the players now, I guess, be in that situation. So we still we should be able to win this show with Jason Kidd as a coach. You just got to stop being stupid. Uh, Jenny Kim says what I want uh, to see from here on out is more Luke I minutes together, more PJ minutes. Less Maxi and Tim and give Green's Green Tim's minutes. I guarantee the eight point quarter not happening again. We'll bounce back. Uh, Gina Kim said, and I also know Clippers won't shoot like that again, and Zubat won't look like the best play on the court either. Uh, now that Gaff kind of got a taste, pause. I expect him to go back to Big Gaff and dominate. No Diddy. Uh, Johnny B says, I love DJJ, but you can't have zero. Uh, Luca, Kai, and PJ came to play. So did Josh. It's only uh, game one, though, so I won't overreact. We lose next game. I'm losing my ish. Yeah. And DJJ was playing good defense, though, y'all. Like, he was playing real good defense. He just. Okay, Johnny. Johnny Benari. His two comments, been Listen, if y'all see, y'all see Johnny with the positivity, man, y'all ought to. We ought to be good. If Johnny giving you positivity, y'all, y'all need to. I need to take that in, man. Pause. Johnny said, "Just win game two, yeah." Uh, Matt just said, win game two? "How do you score eight points in an entire quarter with Luke and Kyrie on your team?" Yes, uh, I'm telling you, I think they're really excited because they won this game. Really, because they don't think they're gonna get Ka- Kawhi back, bro. I really, really think that they was. That's why they were so excited. And after the game, said we're gonna hold it down until Kawhi returns, if he does, and all that. Like, I really think they they really don't think they should win this series. It's our, job. it's our job to go out and prove it. Yep. Nancy says, I'm still concerned with J- Jason Kidd coaching. He never takes accountability for anything, and it drives me crazy. And everything is there, the best players in the world and the best coach uh, in the world. Yeah. Luca and Kyrie took accountability. Jason Kidd didn't, mm. though, at the post game. Wow. That's, that's, that said, doesn't sound familiar at all. He said, our guys got to play tougher and all that. They were soft. I'm like, bro, come on, Jason Kidd. Bro, lead them. I guess it's why I guess it's why Kyrie went out and said, uh, "Yeah, we weren't prepared." Uh, Martin, You're not being prepared. Who's that on? Oh, uh, Martin's a glow yard member. He says, "If Mavs lose the series, let us all change the channel into a fan podcast of whoever will win the championship this year to save us from all the embarrassment." Still confident in this team, though. Oh man, yeah, I'm still confident, man, Martin. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not jumping up the train, bro. That's it's gonna be. That's okay. But man. I. I, I but I do understand where everybody's trepidation is with kids, though. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and act like I don't. Don't worry, though, Martin. These receipts gonna be nice, though, when we're able to release them. Don't worry. Uh Gina Kibbs, we you got one game at a time. We lost the game. We down 0 one, yeah. We they gotta win four, though. So it's all right, but let's just get there. Uh Gina Kim said everything I was kind of worried about happened. Uh Kawhi out, so they played down to their competition. Kid being our coach, role players not stepping up the small ball lineup. Yeah. Uh, Martin said, I was kind of turned off by all the Maxi hate on X. Uh, he wasn't the main reason why we lost. Gaffrey getting bullied, lively, not finishing, and not making his free throws. DJJ XM, TJJ breaking, Luca forcing. My only thing, Martin, I keep saying it. Why does why does Maxi get held at a, at a lower standard? So if it wasn't in like, if we say it all that, like Maxi, what did Maxi do offensively? Why does Matt? Why is it okay for Maxi to not give you offense, but supposedly play okay defense? Why do we settle for whatever Maxi gives us, but everybody else got to play extraordinary? Yeah, like Gaffer did get bullied and all. That's fine, but like, what did what did Maxi do? That's that's um, and I'm not even like saying you shouldn't be turned off and all. I'm just like, why does why do we keep giving these guys a lower standard? He played more minutes than Gafford in them. Why didn't he score? Yeah, y'all folks was killing Christian Wood last year for less. Yeah, like, like I don't understand it, man. Like I said, like, like I said in my opening statement, bro. It's like people are just, I don't know what it is, man. Shout out to Richard. I, I just, I don't get it with the whole Maxi thing, man. Maxi constantly gets a pass, no matter what he, what he do. Like you can't look at that game, man, and tell me Maxi didn't look like pure and adulterated trash out there. The dude looks like a liability on offense out there, and yet he had the most minutes out of all the bigs today. Like I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like this dude gets a pass, but anything he does, he gives you one point. He's like, oh, but he can get that one point though. Yeah. 
I seen folks killing PJ Washington and he playing lockdown defense. Like I I don't get it, man. I mean, I guess each own, man. I just I'm I'm gonna stop trying to trying to figure it out, but I just rather have I just rather have, like I said, Gafford or Lively struggling on the court than Maxi Kleber. Right, me too. I'd rather them, them work through their struggle, you feel me, than have Maxi Kleber. I feel like I've said before, PJ Washington go out here and go 0 for 10 from the field, bro. I'd rather have him out there <laughs> than Maxi Kleber, bro. Uh, Jay with the $5 dough. No, he says game two is a must, but I think that long layoff had the team rusty. The Clippers had Zubas bullying Gafford instead of Gafford bullying Zubas. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of it had to, play, had to do with it, too, man. Yeah. Just playing out of character today. You just, like I said, this game today, the way the match played, we didn't see this the last like 20 plus games no. with this team. So now that, like, like King and him said, if they do come out in game two and play this way, then we got a problem. Houston. But I don't think they're gonna come out like this in game two. Lucas already said it. We know how Luca is. He's a bounce back king when it comes to playoff games. He played his bad. He played a bad game, quote unquote, today. He still got you what thirteen and, and double figures in rebounds and like seven assists. So I'm see, not. I'm not worried. You said he had a bad game and it's still better than Trey Young's. Oh my bad. I didn't mean to say that. Mm. Um, Martin says uh, in the playoffs. By the way, too. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I've seen I've seen Trey in the playoffs. Uh, Martin says only Kyrie. Oh, I didn't see him. I'm sorry. He says only Kyrie and say, PJ showed up. <laughs> yeah, look at he had a bad 31, man. And that's crazy. He be getting bad 31s, bro. And he'd be like, oh, okay. But you don't oh, see him bad held, 31. You don't see him being held to like 12 and 15, though. You feel me? Like, dude got you a bad 31 and 13 and like six, bro. This is crazy. That's a bad game for him. Uh, Gina Kim says, uh, "What I saw today was regular season kid. That was not playoff kid. Uh, same rotations and adjustments he'd make in the regular season. Why does he think he has to uh, play Tim? I get Maxi, but at least lower minutes." Hmm. Uh, Johnny B said, "The Clippers have a better team than we do play off a player, and I think people forget that the Mavs got to play like every game is a game seven. I don't even think they're that much better than us, though." Johnny B like. We can make buckets. They just got role players. Like we just got. I was just I was gotta, about just to say, make role players are better than ours. I give them that. They, just they got, got guys buckets. like Norman Powell coming off the bench. You know what I'm saying? Like, and who, who out here them. wouldn't? Yeah, it turns men and guys like who wouldn't take Norman Powell right now with Tim Hardaway? Did they cook us though? I can't remember what they did as far as their their like stuff that they did. They, did they cook us? The Norman yeah, Powell the bench. The bench was, was the bench kept them in the game today. Or kept like kept Powell, us at distance today. How much did Powell and them have? I didn't even see. Westbrook had 13. Yeah, I know Westbrook. Man, they played eight man rotation. No, yeah, Powell, 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 Powell had five. That's what I said. Powell and Man and them didn't have any points, did they? It was everybody else. This is Westbrook and the rest of the dudes. Yeah, like Russ made two threes. And it was like, oh. So, I, guys, I don't think I'm not worried. Let's go game two. Come on, Jason Kidd, man. Prove me right. Uh, Gina Kim says, after that, disaster, wrong. After that disaster from Timmy in the OKC game, I thought a kid would wouldn't go back to him. And I'm not blaming THJ, but at the same time, if you're in at least if you're in, at least play your best. Don't need low IQ ball yet. So he just doesn't have the highest IQ. Yeah. Uh Matt says Luca admitted uh he needed to be more aggressive attacking downhill game two. I just gotta stay aggressive. That was my bad in the first half. It wasn't aggressive enough. Facts. That's why I said it was that's why I said. Yeah, that's why I said Lucas said that he understood. Yep. We good. I'm fine. As soon we'll as he said it, we basically had a standing ovation and playback, bro. We was like, oh, he he said exactly what we were saying. Go ahead, Lucas. Yep. If I, my two best players understood understand that they gotta come out better. Like I said, this this one this is a one outlier, y'all. We we saw what they did over the last like twenty plus games. I'm not I'm not worried about it. They'll bounce back. Uh, Nancy says, I watched an interview at the end of the season when the Clips knew who the opponent was, and the reporter asked him what he thought about the Mavs. He said, I've already started preparing for them. Shout out to Jason Kidd. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, crap. Uh, Ramble again with $2 donuts. Glory glow yard memory. He says, Kid can't yell at Luca. We need that type of coach. Need some coach with some kind of fire, man. Hey, we had Kyrie, though. You saw Kyrie? They started yeah, Kyrie. Going to run Kyrie was trying to light that fire. Hey, Kyrie did say he can coach himself. <laughs> He did, man. He was out there yelling at the folks. You know, they started going on a run and all. Kyrie was like, follow me, man. That's why I was like, all right, Kyrie, man. I see, I see PJ like, yo. Yeah. Right like there beside him, like, yo, yo. We got, we got some dogs, bro. We just got to – we got it, man. We got it, y'all. Come just, on, now. Bro, we go out there and beat, beat the hell out of them game, too. Everything will be fine. 
Exactly. We're gonna be talking about back. We back to championship talking stuff. Yeah, Gina Kim said, I, I don't think Lively would or should start next game. Wait and see how Gaff plays first. I'm sure Luca will be more aggressive and then and then get the bigs involved. If he's struggling to put in lively, yeah, Gina Kim, I agree. I wouldn't, I'm not gonna bench Gafford after this game. Like I know folks be folks be wow. Like you at least give him don't after one bad game after he, he what he's what undefeated or lost one game with Luca in the last was it like 15 and what was it 16 and one or 15 yeah. and one or something like that? Man, you want to bench him already after one bad game? I told you to stand. Oh, oh you won 20 people. games in a row, lost that one up. Oh, I'm tired of you now. You're trash. Wait, what? He's won 20 games in a row, but no, Max can give you zero points because that's expected and just play all right defense, get you situations, and that's fine. Hey, that's- and, and they want to start him. <laughs> that's my, I don't, ah, man. Uh, like I said, let him. <laughs> Play more of your big guys, Gina Kim. Oh, like you don't man. gotta switch the guys. Just play both of them more minutes. Well, people like, are funny, boy. They be wilding, man. Well, Max give you straight zero. Start him. Start him. Why? For what? Hall of Famer. Like, wait, what? What is he going to do in the pick and roll? What are they going to do? Yes. <laughs> Rugs. He's a glow yard member. He says Russ game. Uh, they need to start with more intensity. Luca has got to stop jacking up threes. He has got to go to the bucket. Also, let's run James Harden off the three point line now. Uh, line, how's about that? Yeah, yeah oh, and also attacking James Harden, Rooks. Yes, and I think Luca tried to got into that as well. Kind of, I guess, a battle because James Harden was on a step back to try to do. I'm like, bro, stop! You don't have to step back three to beat James Harden. Mm. That's that's why you're not James Harden. You feel me? Like, don't don't be James Harden. <laughs> Uh, Gina Kim said PJ was nice to watch though. Uh, still looked like the PJ we know, and I'm very happy for him. He looked locked in. Didn't take any BS from Westbrook either. Uh, offense should show up, but I'm sure it will. Yes. Uh, Richie says so. Maybe I heard more. Uh, what I wanted to hear from Nick and slightly sticking with five, but it's looking crazy right now. Yeah, Richie said that they that they had said to start a. Uh, What happened? You said Mavs in six? I'm sticking with it. Oh, Matt, I told you Mavs in five. I hope uh, it's five, but I'm sticking with six. He was saying, uh, Richie was saying that they said that the start Max hit the five. I don't know if they said that. That's what he said? That's, uh, uh, Richard, be, Richard be trying to start stuff, but that's what he said. I'm like, <laughs> Richard, I don't know, man. He said, he said that they said to the start uh, – that maybe you, you know Richie, five, Richie, gonna, Richie kind of like that guy that be online and he finds certain keywords. Yeah, and he oh, oh he said Maxi. I, I saw it right there. He said Maxi. I'm telling you, he said Maxi should be in the Hall of Fame right now with a uh, with a statue outside the AAC. You sure he said that, Richie? Yes, I'm telling you, I heard it. Okay, all right. If they said that though, Richard, I definitely do not agree with that. I'm 100 percent on the other side of that one. Yeah, yeah I don't got Maxi at the five. Maxi should be playing 10 minutes at the most, like. When he when I saw he had seven minutes in the first half, I'm like, well, not seven. He had like 14, I think, in the first half. I'm like, this is about to be ugly. <laughs> Too many minutes, bro. He already had his max, already his quota in the first half. Like, stop. Uh, Matt says, Daniel Gafford on his performance in game one. I just didn't uh, come out here to play, honestly. I have to be able to be better in areas that I was always succeeding uh, throughout the regular season. Yes, I think I think they'll be fine. If you hear all these guys saying this, yeah, like don't listen to us. Listen to the people that sell what they're saying. Yeah. They know. <laughs> they know. I would not be surprised. Like King, like King said, Dallas come out here and win by double digits. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Gina Kim says, off topic, but have y'all noticed mostly all the teams that missing their main guy won their games minus Miami? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's because they weren't ready. They got – it's good coaching, man. And that'd that be coaching at times sometimes. Like and that's why the team's in the playoffs, because they got good coaches. Doc and Doc Rivers, man. Doc Rivers showed out with your boy Damian Lillard showed up. Dame time. Uh oh. Dame time show up then. That's a different series then, bro. I thought Dame oh. Time was, was was gone. It's like, hold up. Dame time still exists. Yeah, he got a new battery in, the, in his watch, man. If Dame the best player in the series, they got a chance. I didn't think Dame was gonna be the best player in the series. If they if and you know who they're killing right now, though? Tyrese Halliburton. Yes, sir. I think Ty, I told you, I think Tyrese Halliburton been injured since he's been that since he's, he basically did a, a full split. I think he's been done and have not been mm-hmm. the same. And I think he came back to get that 65 game to get his all NBA or whatever, try to get it. 
But yeah. I, re- I really think Tyrese Halliburton is still hurt. And his and his assist uh, assist assist championship. Everything you have to get his championship and all that. I think because everything has been down since he came back from that injury, and I think he's still hurt. But we'll see. I can say he had a week. Well, I guess that ain't enough. But if you, I think he might, he might have tore something, bro. His legs went completely open. Okay, 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 okay. Bro, like you watch it, his legs. I was like, bro, uh, I ripped something. Like his legs went, bro. <laughs> I'm he sorry, man. Man. I'm just trying I don't to wanna, I don't want to think about like, it. His bro. legs are open. Man. I don't want to think. I, I, I hated to see the Gaffer one, man, that he had today, man. man. Jesus. It was nasty when Tyrese went down. I thought he was done for the season. I don't know how he got that. Uh, Rug says, when Timmy grabbed a rebound away from Luke and ran up the court with no idea what he was doing, I audibly yelled, <laughs> aloud, I don't care. I wish that dude would break both his legs. Hey, Rug, that's the play I was saying. He And he yelled off Luca. He waved him off, bro. Oh, and went to the man. rim and then got – I think he got fouled on that play, and he actually – I was like, oh, my goodness, bro. This dude, Timmy, D missed one of the free throws. Yeah, I, bro, I can't believe that Jason Kidd allows Tim Hardaway Jr. to wave off Luke and Kyrie. Well, King, when you uh, continue to keep uh, getting more minutes each game, I mean, what's the what's the consequence? This dude waved him off, bro. That's wild. Like, I don't even see Exum waving at them dudes off, and Tim Hardaway Jr. waves him off. This dude is wild. They got to get him off the team. He'll be gone. Hopefully. Uh, Rich is, also says it's a good time to hit the likes. Yes. Please, 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 please. I see you, Baines. We good, man. We don't suck. We just suck the day pause. But this kid, this loss is partially on kid as well. It's on everybody, man. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to fully blame kid. It was on everybody. Like I said, that eight points, dudes makes missing shots. That wasn't on kid. For Massey pushing the ball to the rim instead of working on the dang jump shot. But anyway. And with Luca and Kyrie, like I said, you can't get eight points. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I don't care if Jason Kidd, the coach, whoever. I you, who's the worst coach in the league? Whatever, whoever you want to say the worst coach in the league or whatever. With Luca Donches and Kyrie Irving, you can't have an eight point court. They cannot get eight points. So I'm blaming everybody. What up, Demar? We talk Hawks. Y'all be uh, Salute. That's all I'm gonna say. Just wait. <laughs> Just wait. Just wait. Hey, if we win this series. I don't want to see nobody running. Nope. But you know they are, though, man. You already know. But just, just wait, Demar. Just wait. I was always told to keep your words short and sweet. Uh, Richard says Pell's up by two with two minutes left. Uh oh. They lost. They lost and losing. Yeah, ninety four, ninety two. Oh, it was a close game. Okay. We gotta get the okay. Hold on. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I mean, don't we all isn't it an if now? Nobody's won yet. Jeez. This dude won one game because then B wanted to try to dunk the ball. Oh, never mind. I'm, you two, you two, you two, Freezy. We're gonna let's just wait. Let's just wait. Just wait. Oh, yeah. Boy, these Eastern Conference play, teams out here, man, are talking real greasy. Okay. Could, could any of us win a series in one game? Any of us one game? Nah, you can't win a nah, series. Lost, one game, can you? No, nah, you can't. We lost. We lost a series today. Oh, it's over. Wow, man. Jeez. Uh, Div says this is a glow yard member. He says we will win still, but damn, kid always works against our team, man. Why are you mm-hmm. playing Cleveland and THJ at the same time, man? Same issues. Regular season zebras uh, doesn't change its stripes. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. I thought. I thought things would change, Div. I guess I, that was on me. <laughs> I, I didn't think I didn't think he was gonna play in the in the playoffs. I really didn't. Oh man! I mean, I figured Maxi would, but I didn't think Tim would. Hey, shout out to Omax. Got his first playoff minutes. That's proud of him. Uh, Lawrence. <laughs> Lawrence says, if uh, scored at least twenty points in the second quarter, I think we win even with a horrible game match play. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like I said it, 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 it all came down to that second quarter, man. Yeah. Uh, Gina says, I just wish Kid challenged that call. I know it might not mean much, but that could have changed the game or at least showed or shown us he'd do what it takes. But nope, he got to save it for Tuesday. Uh, Rug said, Exum needs to get a stop and uh, pop when he runs towards the rim. Uh, people just back up and he's kind of just dribbling back out and passes. We need to score off the bench. He just can't facilitate. It's the knees, y'all. I tried to tell you that before. That's not excellent. He's not going to be going in, like, trying to 
he plays like a Spencer Dinwiddie kind of like it's not as he's not as good as the rim as Spencer Dinwiddie, but like it's just an old man game. Spencer, like, if Spencer gonna get in there, he's gonna attack the yeah, rim. It's like an old like, man not, game. He's just more athletic. Spencer's just more athletic than uh Axum. But Axum just he, I do agree with Thomas though. He gotta he gotta do something with that jumper, man. He gotta do develop something to to keep the defense honest, man. He don't got that, man. No, I know you don't got it. I just say he ain't got it. He ain't getting it. You got to do something, man. You can't just be in there, you know what I'm saying, just in there. You got to you gotta create. Like I said, I told you before, beginning of the season, he was giving you that. So it's not like he can't do it. He was giving you that beginning of the season before he got hurt. Make that floater. That's all you got to yeah. do. You were doing all that beginning of the season. Remember, he was giving you 14s yeah. and 13s and 15s you and gotta, 20s and all that? You got to make that floater. Now you can't do it? I'm like, nah, bro. You can't tell me that. I, I got, what, seven, eight, nine, ten games worth of proof that showed he could do it. How many minutes did he play, though? He played. I don't feel like he played a bunch of minutes. 16. <clears throat> like, I don't know. <laughs> like, K Choice is a glow yard member. He said, I cannot blame Kid for this loss. Did he have some questionable moments? Heck yeah. But our superstar Luca and role players were nowhere uh, playing like themselves. Facts. So it says it's a collective blame today, uh, K Choice. Uh, uh, Gogu says, um, "Does it affect the Lucas MVP combo?" That's done. No, nah, they they already sent him in already. Yeah, we're in the playoffs now. Yeah, it, it was from the 17th to the 19th. Today is the 22nd, so uh, J- oh, 21st when they played. But yeah. Jason says, "Mavs bench no show." Exum last five game, only three points whole game. What's going on? Where was Jaden Hardy? He probably would have done better. Jaden Hardy not gonna play, y'all. Yeah, Jaden Hardy not gonna play, man. Uh, he didn't play in a regular seat. You were thinking they're going to have him playing in the playoffs. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Same thing with, with uh, old Max. They're not playing. Uh, Gina Kim said, another thing I saw today uh, from them was old Mavs. New Mavs used their bigs to dominate, but unfortunately, they were taking uh, them out the game. They tried making us shooters, and we fell for it. Yes. That's what I said, Gina. Uh, Gina Kim says, the Clippers were Ryan Garcia simple. Nah, they're not Ryan Garcia. We'll be fine. I'm just gonna make that comment and then be like, oh no, I, I think we'll bounce back. <laughs> uh K Choice says um Green should be the first or second non-starter off the bench. He should be one of them. It should be one of the three guys, probably. You need to take some out of Virginia spot. Hold on, who's your eight-man rotation, bro? So let me ask you, because I, I got when I got to that eighth guy, though, I was like, damn, would I pick Maxi over Josh Green though? So if we just made it eight, it'll be the five starters, right? Mm-hmm. You need three guys off the bench. So Maxie. if you don't add Maxi in there, what you gonna do? You're gonna rotate DJJ and PJ? That's so I thought about that as well. I said if we got Exum as a is a three, can't we mm-hmm. just rotate them three as our forwards? So like if as long as DJJ playing with a big behind him, sometimes have him as a four when PJ needs break. Like I want PJ to play as long as he can. You feel me? Like pause. Like I want him to be if he can play 40 Man, minutes. That would that what they did with Dodo and him? Yeah, like I want, but I, but PJ's a beast though. Like he's a he's a lot, he needs to play as much. He's that much of that good of a that's what I'm saying. I mean, you did it with Dodo yeah. on him, right? He so, played like 40 minutes a game. I want him to play, and then if you got to, then maybe bring in Exum to like be the other forward at times when one of them need a break. I'm fine with that because who they got really that's a big like that over there. So you find so so you saying no, they had they had they had a Amir Coffee playing the four. So no maxi then. So then the three man off the bench will be you saying Exum Gray. Exum. Yeah, and lively. lively. Yeah, no, I'm cool with that. But you know, Kia ain't gonna do that. Hmm. Uh, Vaughn <laughs> says losing game one is fine, but at least Lucas should uh, show his dominance like he usually does. Hunting mismatches and letting them know defenders can't uh, guard him every time they put a mismatch on him. Yeah, he just kept hunting for Zubat, man. I'm like, stop it. It's not working. Just stop. I was like, he's going at Zubat, but now, uh, time did he go at either like paul george or or uh james harden like go after them guys yeah uh gina kim says rebounds also hurt us can't have that happen again maxi not going to give you many rebounds and gaffer gave a zero can't have our guards out rebounding our bigs you know what's wild they didn't even dominate us on the rebounds though and we still didn't i felt like we got we underachieved the rebounds too yeah we we lost by four yeah and gaffer gave you zero lively gave you four that's because Luca got you 13 yeah. by two. Uh, Frank said, felt like Clippers had aimbot while Mavs were struggling to find a charger for their dying controller. I uh, didn't feel that bad because Mavericks didn't lose with their best game, but with their worst game. True. 
What up, Daniel Barry? Uh, Noah says he's a glow yard member. He says this was embarrassing today. Now Kawhi is coming back. I don't think the Clippers is going to shoot like this next game, but J Kid done J done kid things again. Why was Maxie and THJ guarding Harden? Mm. And Maxie was getting, I knew he was going to step back three on Maxie. And I, I just called it and he stepped back. Mm. Your boy, uh, but I, I do not think, I, I do not think Kawhi is playing game two, though. I do not. I like, I, I, def, I, I, I would put my house on that one. Kawhi is not playing, especially with them winning game one without him playing. They are not playing Kawhi Leonard. Uh, Johnny B had a comment. You probably going to, it's going to probably back up what you just said. Okay. Uh, Gene <laughs> says, I'd rather have Kawhi come back. He won't be 100% and the Mavs will finally play competitive. It might be Mavs in six, but I still got them at five. We got to steal a game out of yeah. I told you I'm more worried about Kawhi coming back in like that game six, game seven to try to put him over the top. Like, it's not going to be more – ain't going to be mainly about what he can do on the floor. It's just that motivation. So why are you saying ended in five? Yeah, because I'm like that inspiration to just be like, we're going to win a game with Kawhi. We got to do this for Kawhi, yeah. Yeah, like one of those. So I don't – was that Willis Reed back in the day and all? When Willis Reed came back uh, for, for New York. Uh, for the Bullets? No, not with uh, – I'm thinking of uh, – I'm thinking of West Sunset. Thank you. Willis Reed was for the was for the Knicks, right? The Knicks, yeah. Freeze, is that true? Injury and all. Know. That. I know he's still in here. Yeah, I thought it was Willis Reed that ended up and they they won the game and all because, but yeah, just that inspiration. Uh, Frank says, at least with the L, we get to know who needs to go and what we need for next season. And honestly, we don't need to add much, in my opinion. Yeah, we we I'm still off this season. Yeah, Frank though. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> This L is what it took to know who need to go. I, I, already, I already knew that. I knew who need to go in the wins. <laughs> like, like, but no, nah, I hear you though. I hear you. What up, Demarcus? He says, uh, in the words of Aaron Rodgers, R E L A X. The series isn't one in one game. We have the best play on the floor. Hashtag MFFL. Yes. Thank you. So that's, that's, what I, that's what I've been saying. Demarcus over there on LinkedIn. Uh, guy, I appreciate you, Demarcus. Yeah, appreciate you, man. Uh, Noah says, uh, what was our offense today? Our offense was just Luke and Kyrie and THJ on them fast breaks be killing me. But what percentage the Clippers shoot from three? It felt like they shot 90%. I think they shot 50. And they only shot – yeah, they, they, they only shot, what, 47% from the field in general? Mm -hmm. I mean, they weren't scoring nothing other than the three. Hmm. They got to stop trapping everybody. Everybody don't deserve a trap. I was happy when I seen PJ Garden guys one on one on top of the key, bro. I hate that so much, bro. I don't think we need to double anymore on this team. I really no. don't think we need to. I I don't know why. When we what, got what was double. the point of you? What was the point of you getting PJ and getting DJJ if you're gonna continue to keep doubling and playing zones and all that stuff, bro? Like let, let them guys guard one on one, keep everybody else at home. And when you have Luca and them, let them funnel the guys to the bigs that will block them like they usually do with the rim. And that's what they, you saw what they're doing. We we started having that comeback. Yes. Even had Luca Garden, uh, James Harden. What were they yep. doing? Getting them to, to Lively, who was blocking them at the yep. rim. Uh, Daniel says, "Hey, fellas, what up, Daniel? Uh, what just, up? just a bad loss today, but I better not see the same performance come Tuesday because the honeymoon vacation time is over. It's time for winning. Facts, Daniel. Uh, Sticks, Glow Yard member. He says, uh, "Kid isn't done uh, doing it. We talk Mavs. This is the problem." Mm. I hope not, Sticks. Man. I hope Sticks, man. God, leave, bro. I'm tired, of, I'm tired of thinking this like, this way about kid, man. Like, prove us wrong, man. Like, now is the time to prove us wrong. I would love to be wrong. Yep. Uh, Div says, bro, it isn't done. You know J. Kid or Kitty It will still go to those guys. Mm. <laughs> Jada Kip says, I love when Rel's voice gets higher each time he's upset. I love that, huh? <laughs> We'll find out then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lori says, uh, uh, "Omax in for Cleveland." I mean, nah, I'm, I'm uh, nah, nah. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I told you, oh, yeah, y'all gotta stop. <laughs> yeah. you, you trying to put this rookie in who, who barely played during yeah. the regular season? You trying to put him in for the playoffs? Yeah, no, nah, I'm good, man. It's not how that works. I'm good. Uh, Jason said, "Why well, can't Gafford or Lively uh, shoot jump shots? You guys, your coach, they don't got him doing that yet." Yeah, it's not that game, man. Uh, Dev says, "Rel King, why is it that THJ in the three on one decides to take on one lone defender and not pass the ball? And even better, why keep the ball so damn low in front of the D man? Hey, you got to ask THJ, man. 
Oh, Who was that, man? Old. He hit that little high crossover on, bro, and he ripped it from him. Took his cookie straight up. What, what game was that? That was uh, uh who was that man? Um I, mean, I sent you the I sent you the clip. It wasn't Memphis, was it? Who the hell was that? Somebody straight, he just straight crossed and somebody said, Give me that. Oh no, it was Houston, wasn't it? Wasn't it uh, Amon Thompson? No, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't Thompson. It might be somebody on Houston. It was it Cam Whitmore? Wait, I think it was Whitmore. I think somebody he just said, Give me that. I'm like well, he hit that high crossover. Yeah. It was predictable, by the way. He hit that high crossover. You just tap. Going other Give me way. that and start going away. Tim was still looking over, like I'm like, bro, he got you. Yeah, that's referee. Like, oh, yeah, bro, like, he not foul you, bro. He, he straight took your cookies, bro. <laughs> he straight took the ball. I'm gonna click this for you though. You, you got Jackie Chan in here. Sorry, Mr. Jack Chan. Uh, he says, "LOL, this real guy don't know ball." He said, "Lucas should attack the paint more." Uh, Terrence Mann and Russ locked him up and frustrated him the whole game. Do you even watch? Luke is well guarded today. LMAO must be a Clippers fan. No, nah, he got a Luca picture on there, but he said Luke got locked up. No, I don't. I don't watch basketball, Jack. How many threes did Luca shoot today? Uh, let's see. He shot. He shot four, twelve. Twelve of them, and he had to shoot what? At least like mm -hmm. six of them in front of Zubac. That wasn't Terrence Mann and Russell Westbrook, was it? Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. Uh, Gina Kim said they were punking us as if they were bigger. Uh, they had dirty plays from PG and Zubat, and we did nothing. I take Keith over Maxi and Tim. I know he'll play big and play hard, pause, and he can be dirty too. I bet she says you're going over. Yeah, I know she did. Uh, Gina Kim also says, don't want to snitch, but Jack Chan says you don't know. But oh, we don't have Gina Kim. We don't, yeah, we, don't, we, don't, we, don't <laughs> we don't, we don't, we don't dodge over here, Gina Kim. Uh, she said, don't know about Rel because um, Luca was getting locked up. Also, wasn't Kai being double two? Luca got to step up and help him. PJ, DJJ, X him, anyone. Uh, Salam says, uh, well, I praised Maxi play at the end of the season and thought we could maybe count on him. I didn't want him getting big minutes. Just new kid will play him because he can't help himself. THJ, too. It's okay, Salam. Yep. It's okay. Yeah, Cam, I see you. This was definitely not a Luka game. Even with him, this was not. It, it, if they show you who they are, Salam, that's who they are. Yep. Uh, Frank says, do y'all think uh, Gafford and Lively were mentally scared of playing too physical because they were scared of fouling too much? That's what it seems to me, at least. Yeah, Frank, I think the, they weren't ready for the physicality. Like, them, the referees would let them do everything. They could have went out there and just been beast, but I don't think they were ready for it. So now we'll see. We'll see in game two. I want them to go out there and be bullies. And Lively's right? a rookie, so. Yes. I think that was his third playoff game. I think Lively will because, like I said, Lively started stepping up in the third quarter as far as defensively. Like he was out there just hit, like blocking everything. I'm like, damn, Lively, all right, so get out of here. Uh, Noah says our centers were so bad today. I forgot we had centers today. Was the first time I turned off a Mavericks playoff game. I turned it off at halftime. Jeez. At halftime, dang. No, no, I can't do that in the playoffs, man. I ain't gonna lie. But I understand. Uh, Gina Kim said Kyle took accountability. Uh, some something someone else should do they weren't prepared but they got all of the rest and i was told by a kid they were prepared maybe he was expecting Kawhi. you play so you only coach for one player instead of the whole entire team yes uh that's why we're gonna say we weren't prepared i guess gina kim said the mavs are good switch coaches and this was our game playoffs are won by coaching superstars defense role players and sometimes the bench none showed up gina kim just told us they, that a game's won by everything <laughs> I'm sorry, Gina Kim. Ramble is a, a Glow Yard member. He says, kid only called one timeout two minutes into the second quarter. He holds on to them like he can cash them in after the game. Yeah, like they bottle caps. Or, or they, they roll over to the next game or something. They bottle caps, bro. Shout out to Fallout. Uh, DV's a Glow Yard member. He said, what up, fellas? Rough game, but I still think this was an anomaly. Uh, even if we go down 0-2, I feel like we can win this series, but we'd love to go back to Dallas 1-1. I don't want to go back on to y'all like that's dangerous thinking. Uh, Stick says uh, Twitter is a hell of a coach. It is. I'm going to start saying start Maxi so that Jason Kidd do the opposite. Uh, <laughs> Ramble says we'll never miss as bad as we did today. They'll never shoot as well as they did today. Well, they didn't even shoot that well, y'all. Like that's the thing about it. They yeah, the three point shots were going down, but all of, overall they didn't shoot that well. 
We we played good defense. Yeah, look at it like this. They made 18 threes. Yeah. We played good defense. They got 109. Down. We just we got to score. That's my main thing. You can score more than 110 damn points. Mm. Uh, Gina Kim says one question. If Lou was our coach, would he play Maxi in 10 many minutes? Exactly. I didn't see Kai Jones or uh what's that? Um what's his name? Daniel Dice. Daniel Dice, yeah. I'm about to say thesis. Uh what's I know he play? he played for a little bit. I know Plumley played. Did Dice play? Yeah, Dice played for a little bit. Yeah, uh, like a little, little bit. It went a matter of fact. Hold on, let me tell you. Go ahead. And she was saying thesis. Okay. She said, I know that's not his name. I just make fun of it. He, Wait, that's uh, not that he did play. Have with Gaffin. I didn't think he played. Yeah, I don't play eight people. Yep, they don't play eight people. That's what I'm saying. Like, and they didn't play Zubat off the court, and Zubat was dominating. Kai Jones is not going to help them, guys. I don't think they're going to. If they didn't play Kai Jones in game one, Tyler does not trust Kai Jones. He's not going to play that dude. He just got there, too. Yeah, they just Uh, got him to see something. He's not going to play. And um, I do not think Tyler will play Maxi and Tim because he didn't play Marcus Morse. And Marcus Morse better than both of them. Wait, what's number? He stopped playing Marcus Morse all those minutes at the end before Marcus Morse got traded. He got traded, yeah. That's that's what I'm saying. If he stopped playing Marcus Morse all those minutes, what that mean he would do with Tim and Maxi? What up, Nix? He says, how many minutes will THJ and Maxi play next game? I do not know. I can only hope. Think about it. it's, it's not a bunch. Uh, Gina Kim said, I think it was Kyle who's had uh, passed to Tim, who was wide open and missed a layup, and then Luca who passed to an open Maxi and got mad. Kid sees that and still plays them. Oh, yeah, that one with uh, Luca yelling at Maxi wanted to go. Yeah. Uh, Proud Vet said, Harden is supposed to be washed. He better not still uh, – be better at being the system than Luca. You guys are right. Uh, national, I guess, gas Mavs, national media gas Mavs, so they can come down even harder on Luca. Yeah, that's what that's what they do, but they'll be fine. I'm not. No, I'm proud. No, I'm, proud. I'm not right on watch the games. <laughs> Gita Kim said, What's a duo uh, nickname we could use for PJ and DJJ? Uh, Flight Security, Air Jail, either one, Jenna. Can make it up and just make sure you trademark it before the Mavericks get a hold of it. Uh, L, what up? She says, oh, my goodness. Uh, why they lose at the game, I go to. Oh, yeah. Shout out to L, man. She was in L.A. Mm. Sorry, L. Are, are you going to the second one, too, L, or just that one? Let us know. Uh, Gina Kim said, I wasn't too mad at the rest, but that call on him uh, was a tr- was trash. And then those two shoulder checks, but then call the foul on for Harden. I'm sorry, for Harden. Uh, then those obvious uh, dirty plays, but then but they call the Zubat on the – or called on Zubat. Zub, they was they. I wasn't mad at the refs. I really I felt like the 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 Clippers just took advantage of the way the game was being called. And I think we shot more free throws than Mavericks, didn't we? Yeah, we shot more free throws. That's what I'm saying. So like, yeah, they took advantage of it. They yeah. weren't calling the fouls. They were letting them play, and they played physical because they weren't. They were letting us play. Yes, that I should took advantage of that. What was the one thing I heard us say going into this series? I said they're not gonna be calling a lot of fouls in the playoffs. That should be a bit beneficial for Dallas being a big team now, hmm. being able to play down low, being physical, and that's what the Clippers did. So I can't be mad at the Clippers for that. Hmm. Referee didn't do too bad on that man. He let them play, and he, and he was consistent with it. So right. we shot more free throws. So I'm gonna read a couple more. Bro. I guess we're gonna end it. Proud yeah. said, "Be worried. Harden and Kyrie together was perfection. Kyrie and Lucas should be better, but it's not close. Nah, I, I'm not. I think Harden. I think Kyrie and Luca gonna be gonna be way better." Uh, I, I need to confuse about people sometimes. I take one game and say, no. "Up, oh, it completely don't work no more." It's like, it's so we just gonna ignore the other twenty plus games, right? Like we them being the high scoring duo in the league, we are gonna ignore all that because of one game. I mean, I guess, man. Look at these uh, emojis. We can't even see them, but hey, man, that's what, what is the kitty at one? The one with Jason K with his hands in his pocket. Oh, oh, yeah, shout, yeah, shout the Core Kings, yeah. Uh, then you got hold on, um. Ramble says we need to turn up the pace. Whoever's guarding guarded by Harden, Harden shouldn't just move off ball like Steph until he's open or ends up open. Yes, yes, Ramble. Uh, we already had the TCJ. You already know about that, bro. Um, Sticks, Kitty, uh, TCJ, but we got the King, 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 King row, row, row. So you remember the pictures we had on the uh, the little car? Yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw that on there. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see what the uh, the Kitty one Kitty was one. yet. Yeah. And then. Uh, P jail, his little picture where he like uh the what is it uh John Wick kind of with the jail behind him with all his other uh, oh okay okay uh, okay probably Luca Luca obviously yeah. yeah 
And then we got our glow yard one, virtual insanity. With see, then the team picture with he hugging one for all. Oh, uh, the Luca and Kyrie one. With Kyrie, the whole team, Dark Jones Jr. Oh, oh, okay. oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, so you oh you up here using some uh hero academia uh talking all for one. Uh, <laughs> Jason, oh, uh, for one. no, 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 all for yeah, one for all. It's one for all is all might, and then one for all is the. I think the Mavericks thing was one for all too, though. I think I got to change that. I think they're saying one for all this year. Uh, Jason, yeah, it's, says, on the, yeah, it's on the shirts. How do you fix the Mavs bench? Shorten it. You can't up. fix it right now, but yeah. you, you, you talk about it over the off season. Is you got to just wait for the off season as far as uh free agents or whatever. But right now, showing it up. Yeah, off so season. Off season, you just get another start and uh, forward, and get a microwave score. Yeah, we got to do something to, to strengthen up the bench, man. Uh, Gina says, uh, "Kid, Mavs, uh, kid, we're we're down by thirty. Help us, uh, kid, kitty, kid, oh. kid. Uh, yeah. Austin." I uh, said, "Sup, guys? What up, Austin? Tough game, but I was wondering since we are getting close to the end of the NBA season, what will your off season pod schedule look like?" Uh, will y'all do a weekly pod? Great work, guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, we don't we don't know yet, man. We used to make that after the seasons over with, depending yeah. on what but usually we, we usually do at least one uh one show a week though, Austin. And that members only as well, but we might do two. So we'll let you know though. Like I guess that towards the end of the season. We'll do our exit interviews as well. You feel me? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ray said, I thought we will retire the, the uh Maxi Kleber DP marketing wood hierarchy. But it's still alive and kicking, eh, Ray? And don't as long as he's on the team, Ray, that's never gonna uh, retire, man. Uh, Gina Kim said, I would take Omax minutes over Tim Fudge. Uh, would do way better too. He was cooking that OKC game, lost and hardy anyone but TCJ. Yeesh. Uh, she said, This is why we didn't need to be in the play in facts, facts, Ooh. facts, Gina Kim. Ooh. Facts, Gina Kim, man, listen. That may be 136. Ooh, we died, though. That may be the comment of the day right there. I mean, comment of the season. I just, man, that whew. that one hit, didn't it? Especially for a guy, this for a guy that's 0 for 4, man, on game ones, bro. God, Lee, that, that's a good point. Whew. That's a good point. I didn't think about that, boy. Who we died the bullet? Honor says if the Mavs lose in four or five, do you think Kip will be back? Hey. Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't want to think about that, huh? Not yet. Uh, Gogu says, uh, Luca don't have help. Imagine Luca has more rebounds than their bigs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jane Kim says, We held them under 110 like I predicted. I leave. I'm leaving here with something. Kitty it. Uh, Proud Vet said, If these were the 90s, experienced players, THJ and Maxi will be carrying. Every time the national media gas up this team, pulling up at the finish line was not wise. Um, Austin says, I can't believe how Gaff got bullied in the paint today and really know how we got punked as a team for real. This could be a sweep if we don't fix this fast. It's all on kid. Luke and Kyrie will get right. Yeah, it'll be fine. Let me see. I'm going to get a couple more real quick since I see virtual sanity and I ain't type this. Rambo says, Maxi. I know. Shout out to Uh Rambo says, Maxi can't be a small ball center if he can't dribble. Uh, that's let them play an active wing who can cheat off whenever Maxi outside the paint. Max is the smallest 6'10 player in the league. Yikes. Jesus. Uh, virtual Insanity is a glow y'all member as well. He says, why every time Kyrie is cooking, he rests and comes back in to stand in the corner. Eight for eight in the third and only uh, four shots in the fourth. Unacceptable. Facts. Virtual Insanity. And uh, Freezy here, Blurns Tears, all your New York Knicks uh, information you want to know if for some reason you want to watch the Knicks right now instead of the Mavericks. Uh, but he says uh, he got the eyes looking at us. I, Freezy. Y'all be. Oh, my God. Don't worry. Ask, it's gonna be ask again, is this the humble freezy? I'm guessing not. It's not. Okay. He already told me he predicted the Clippers to win the series before the series even started. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So he good. But that's that's it, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll stop it right there. All right, man. Listen, man. We sorry we didn't get to everybody question and comments, man. But we definitely appreciate y'all rocking out with your boys, man. No one good one tonight man but listen y'all it's gonna be all right it's gonna be all right don't let nobody tell you otherwise man don't let nobody tell you otherwise Dallas gonna we heard y'all heard the pros game man y'all heard the players y'all heard luca Kyrie, gafford they're gonna do better y'all they're gonna do better if, if, if they haven't shown you anything over the last like i said 20 plus games guys then i don't know what to tell you 
Like that's the only reason why I'm confident. I think they'll be fine, man. Like I said, I trust Luke and Kyrie. You saw what they did today, and we and we we lost today, right? Like they didn't have their best game, and they still got you uh, nearly sixty five points. So yep. it's fine with me. You know, I think they'll bounce back, get a win, go home. You play your two at home, take care of home, and can you think you can close it out in L.A.? I still say probably six, close it at home in Dallas in game six. But either way, I still got us winning the series. I'm not tripping. But, yeah. Uh, matter of fact, man, with all that being said, man, listen, guys. Uh, let me see. That's my place on this thing here. Okay. All right. So, listen, man, we have shows every Friday. You heard somebody ask what our postseason, uh, you know, schedule is. Uh, we st- we don't know yet. We normally do that after the season. We'll let y'all guys know. But during the season, we still have our Fridays for members only, man. And uh, if you want to become a member of the channel, like some of the people here you saw on the screen, just hit that join button right there next to the subscribe button, man, to become a member of the channel. If you're on an iPhone, you have to go through your Safari on your phone and then go to the YouTube desktop and find you. Uh, we talk Mavs and then click on the join that way. Also, too, like I said, man, every Friday we have morning shows for the members. But if a game falls on a Friday, we have our members only post game shows, guys, where you guys join us here on the show talking about the game that day. I don't know if we have a game Friday. I know the next game is on Tuesday. I don't even know the schedule. I know the next game is Tuesday. Tuesday. Yes, so it's on Friday because you get two days off before you go to Dallas. Oh, yeah, you go to Dallas. Okay, so Thursday, Friday. Y'all, y'all, y'all out here, boy, with yeah. these back to back to backs out here, man. You never had this many members only oh, for the game show, Fridays, man. man. Yeah. yeah, man. They 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 uh taking over our Fridays out here, man. So yeah. So the members will be on the show this Friday, man. We we will be in Dallas, man. So hopefully we get a dub after that. So that'd be a good post game show. All right, I think TGK going to that game. So getting tired of TGK, man. Hopefully he can uh he can this guy on the screen or something like that and tell us what, how the vibes were. Yeah, man. But listen, man, also, too, man, speaking of vibes and on the screen and all that stuff, guys, you also can watch the game with us, guys, on play. Man. Yes, sir, guys. You can download the playback app on wherever you get your apps from and follow us at We Talk Math. We stream all the games there, guys. Every game, even the playoff games, we stream them there. Uh, we did a little bit of scoreboard watching too and leading up into the playoffs. So, and then me and King might have a plan going into the offseason, man, with playback. We still going to try to figure that part out, but. Go ahead and follow us on Playback, man, as we stream all the Dallas Mavericks games there, guys. You join the Glow Yard there, too, man, as they root for the Mavs. Uh, also, too, man, follow me on my other channel, man, Cuz We Geeks, where we talk about all things in movie and television involving the geek culture. Uh, yeah, King got his Batman shirt on, man. Hopefully, my cuz will finally watch Fallout so we can talk about Fallout. I was ready to talk about it, but I forgot he hadn't watched it yet. So he said he's gonna try to binge watch it, man. And we're gonna try to talk about it on Saturday, man. So we're gonna talk about Fallout. Um, somebody, oh, uh, the Deadpool Wolverine trailer is about to drop tomorrow, so we're gonna probably talk about that on Saturday too. And uh, it's probably some other stuff too, guys. So just follow us at uh, Cause We Geek, man. And we talk about all things in the geek culture, man. Kings, is there anything else I'm forgetting, man? Uh, follow us on all our socials. I don't know if you already said that. Uh, share, share, more share, guys. Uh, like is an equivalent of a share. Uh, on our way to our next goal of 3K, um, we're over 2,500, man. Like, uh, we just appreciate y'all. Uh, this isn't the end, y'all. Like, it's okay. It's still going to be an awesome postseason. We're still going to be here for a while, I feel like. And um, we just got to go win game two, y'all. Let's go, Mavs. Don't let Twitter turn you into, uh, like, a, <laughs> a hater or just, I don't know, um, a pessimist, I should say. The ultimate I pessimist. I say, don't, don't let Twitter sway yeah. your opinion, man. Because Twitter will do it. You'll look on Twitter, and it'll be just uh, – I believe they're gonna win the championship. Yeah. Twitter, see someone on Twitter and be like, "Oh, dang, you know, I yeah. changed my mind." You, well, you'll, you see right, fans, you'll see fans of other teams that are not in the playoffs coming, you know, say stuff to your your, your post and all that, and try to get you riled up and all. But nah, it's all good. I don't let them change their opinion. We fine. We got to win game two, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. Yeah, just just remember, guys, we got to work hard in the West. We not in the East. <clears throat> Thank <clears throat> you.
But yeah. So with all that being said, man, listen, it is your boys, Relin King, and we talk Mavs, guys. When we talk Dallas Mavs from a fan's perspective, man, we will be back here on Tuesday for game two, guys. That's a late one, too, y'all. It is a late one. Starts at nine here in Dallas. So it starts at 10 over here. <sighs> Post game will be probably at 12 o'clock. Should probably later than that. Probably around one. Mm. Oh, 12 yard time. Yes. Yeah, 12 my t- our time. Yeah. So yeah. just a heads up. It will be probably around 12, 12 a.m. here in Dallas, guys. So just a heads up. But we're here for y'all. So same map time, same map channel, guys. Go Mavs. And we out. Peace.